What's the deal? What's the deal, man? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Yaya. For those who may not know who I am, and yeah, as y'all can tell at the title of the video, we're gonna get straight into it because I literally just got off work, which explains why your girl got on a scarf and a hoodie and looked tired as heck. Just to jump straight into the video, like, and give y'all a brief summary of who I am. Um, I am a self-taught trader. I have taught myself how to trade throughout the five years of trading that I've experienced the market. It's been a hell of an experience, okay? It's been, like, appreciative, miserable, uh, frustrating, um, impatient, and I'm just trying to, like, enjoy the whole process or the journey, and I'm speaking through emotions now and how I feel because I am currently going through how I'm feeling and what I'm telling y'all. How I feel right now is exactly what I'm going through right now, okay? So, y'all gotta excuse my nails. I gotta get them done, too. Your girl been doing all these hours. I'm tired, man. I ain't had time to do nothing, but... All right, so just to sum things up for y'all, if y'all don't know what I do for a living, um, I don't mind telling y'all, I'm a correction officer, a full-time correction officer. I try to find balance, but that's where I think I mess up on trying to um, find the balance when also working at a job, okay? Currently, how I feel about it is um, I'm frustrated, okay? And I'm trying to find balance to not be frustrated because I know it's a part of the journey. However, I feel like I have been doing this for so long and still I'm not able to quit my job how I want to be. Like I want to be able to quit my job and I want to trade full time. Okay. That's something that I know I'm going to do and it's something that I know I want to do. But however, when it comes to trading it's just a process that you can't skip. Like, you can't skip over these steps. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you just can't. It's it's just a part of the journey. You just can't skip it. So, um, I have tried different avenues when it comes to trading and trying to work a full-time job. So, I work, like, between 12 and 16 hours a day. Like, literally every day. Every day. So, I come home. And try to stay up and look at the charts. Like, I'm falling asleep like this, looking at the charts. You know, getting into dumb trades because I'm tired. All night, I'm just, like, looking at the charts. And then I come home and try to stay up to find a setup, forcing trades. And it's like, I have no structure. It's no structure, okay? Especially when I'm tired. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, I want to say I just became... A little bit more structure or a balance when it comes to trading and having a job because I think the first thing that we need is balance so that's number one that's key when you have a job and when you're trying to trade or make a career of trading you need to have balance and if you don't have balance I'm telling you it's just like it's fucked up you fucked up you know what I'm saying? So I realized that I need balance. And I can say this whole year, I've been trying to find my balance. Have I found it yet? No, I have not because I still work these long hours. And I'm just now starting to take extra days with my regular, extra days off with my regular off days, if that makes sense. So I'll have two off days. So Regularly, I'll have two off days and then I'll add on an extra day just so I can, you know what I'm saying, have extra time to, to do what I need to do or whatever. But I need to find balance, okay, especially with being a full-time mom, a full-time worker, and trying to be a full-time trader. I have to find balance. So I'm working on a balance. It's, it's a work in progress. And the second thing that I say we, we must have, I'm going to speak in unity because I'm going through the process myself. Um, we need a trading plan, okay? We need a trading plan, yo. Okay, so what is a trading plan then, y'all, y'all? You keep telling me we need a trading plan. Bruh, a trading plan is very much so simple. It's so simple that a lot of people don't even pay attention to it. because, But it plays, it plays a big part in your trader. So a trading plan is basically like a sheet of paper, boom. And you have 
key points on this sheet of paper that you follow okay and it could be like what instrument do you want to trade okay a lot of people may not want to they don't know what they want to trade they jumping from pair to pair to indice to indice to crypto to co commodity like they don't know what they what they trying they just testing testing the waters or whatever right that's what you don't need to do you don't need to do that you need to focus on one to two pairs or one to two indices i mean indices indices i'm sorry one to two not three not four one and two okay do not overcomplicate yourself when you are working a job and still trying to trade that's like a lot it's a lot mentally like you may not think it's a lot but bruh it's so much and i couldn't ha i'm telling you this is just what i'm going through i'm trying to i'm trying to elaborate what i've went through and to into this video you feel what i'm saying so you need to focus on what it is that you want to trade right another thing what time of the day do you want to trade what time of the day do you want to trade you have to know these type of things like do you want to trade the new york session do you want to trade london session which is in the middle of the night and obviously new york session is in the in the morning all the red, all the red, the rest of the sessions don't even matter. Like that's trash. You don't, you don't even want to trade that. Don't even pay attention. Is you trying to trade London or is you trying to trade New York? Which one are you trying to do? Okay. Me, I trade New York sessions, so I have to get off work from working twelve hour shifts, twelve to sixteen hour shifts, and come home to try to stay up to find a setup on the charts. That's so much for me. That is a lot. Okay. I, I, it's, it's, it's difficult and I'm managing how I, how I'm trading. Another key point that y'all, another key point that y'all need to, like, we need to focus on, cause I'm gonna say y'all, cause I already got my trading plan down. Another key point is your P&L, like what's your profits, what's your loss, how much is you risking each trade, all right? And a lot of people don't understand the whole risk management thing because it took me a long time to understand that too, to understand that. It's not about the trades you take or how big your stop loss is or nothing like that. It's about how much you risking at the end of the day. Like you risking how much? Is it you risking too much to where it's about to blow your account, bro? Well, you don't need to risk that much. You need to grab you one of these calculators that's free, that's online, and type it in which pair you trade in, how where's your stop loss, where's the open price, where's the close price, and boom, it is going to give you a recommendation lot size that you can use depending on the percentage that you are really willing to risk the percentage i suggest is don't go over one two or three percent of your whole account don't risk no more than three percent of your whole account you cooked the training plan does not have to be based off of those four things it's just key points and, and set rules that abides to you Okay, my rules may be different from your rules. It's just it's it's a personality thing. So whatever you choose your rules to be, you just need to make sure that you obey by those rules and follow those rules. Even if you gotta write it down on a piece of paper, bro, and 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 hang it up somewhere right in front of your charts or whatever your computer. If you gotta do that, you just gotta do what you gotta do. It's cool. Don't feel ashamed. And the last key point is what kind of trader are you? You need to know what kind of trader you is when you get into these markets because they're going to eat you alive, man. I love scalping. I really do. I really do. I prefer to scalp any time of the day. I swear. I promise you. But the way that my life is set up, I cannot scalp. I'm working 12 to 16 hour shifts, right? I am getting no sleep. I'm at work half my day. And I come home and I'm looking at the charts. I'm looking at the charts. So I'm waiting for the setup. I'm waiting for the I'm waiting for price to get to my supply zone or my demand zone on a five minute time frame. Do you know how how tired I'ma be? Like I be at the charts like, damn, this shit taking all day. Boom. Smacking my head against the desk. I can't afford to do that. Like I really want to. And it takes patience and you really have to stay in and sit at the desk and, and kind of like watch it for a short period of time. So what I do is I swing trade, intraday trade or whatever you want to call it. But I'll find a setup throughout the night 
And how I do that is I look at the higher time frame. So I'm waiting for price to get to a zone. And ten times out of nine times out of ten, price will hit a zone of mine before the session start. Okay. So by the time I get home, I'm already knowing that I'm about to get in this trade and go straight to sleep. I'm about to get in this trade, go straight to sleep, wake up, and profit or stop loss hit. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm not worried because I know how much I'm risking before I get in this trade. You feel what I'm saying? So that works out better for me rather than trying to sit at the desk and, and watching the charts. You feel what I'm saying? So it's all based off your, your personal lifestyle and how you, you know what I'm saying, trade. How, how, which way do you prefer to trade, basically? But the important part is building yourself a trading plan for sure that fits your personality and your schedule. Bro, I keep hearing shit. So the important thing is, is building a trading plan that fits your personality and your schedule and also finding balance, okay? As y'all can see, I'm tired and I'm trying to hurry up and make this video, but I think that's really all I got for y'all because that's all I can say right now. But at this current moment, I'm going through like a transition of frustration, but also profitable or break even days. So it's like, it's not that consistent, you feel what I'm saying? But I know I know what I'm doing. When I come, when I come and look at the charts, I know what I'm looking for, but it's just the balance of my personal life that I don't have in order for me to trade all day or, or every morning, should I say, for me to trade every morning. So that's my downfall. But that's not my responsibility to find what your downfall is. But that's all I really got for y'all. Make sure y'all got y'all trading plan. Make sure y'all got balance. And y'all will be straight. You feel what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm tired, man. It's, what time is it? It's 7.55 and I'm about to go to bed, man. But... But I see, listen, y'all, I see y'all in the next video. I keep hearing, I keep hearing stuff in here. I ain't, I ain't with all that. Peace out. I'll see y'all next video.